and I'll smoke like a couple hits and then that's it. And how often do you smoke? Um, every day. Do you think about like whether or not what you're doing now might hurt your baby? I feel guilty sometimes because I wouldn't smoke cigarettes while I'm pregnant or drink alcohol. So why am I consuming cannabis? So I do think about everything that can harm her, but that also includes the pharmaceuticals and the harm that they can do too. This just seemed like a better option. I remember when my wife was pregnant, like especially in the first trimester, she couldn't look at food. Yeah. Like, what's it like for you? Well, when I was pregnant with my son, it was really bad. I couldn't cook anything. The smell was unbearable. Why don't you just sort of tough it out? I'll try to get through it. I tried, like, natural medicine. Did that, like, work? No. Something so simple as medical cannabis. Why wouldn't I try that? Juan? Hey. 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 Hey, hey JD. Hey, Juan. That smells good. So it doesn't weird you out at all that she's smoking pot? She laid on the couch and she couldn't move. She couldn't eat. I've seen her suffer too much. No. I was so sick, we were even thinking about terminating this pregnancy. I was afraid she was going to die. <laughs> I'm not down with terminating pregnancies, but hey, you can't take him away, right? So we're responsible people. We, we, we just want to have whatever everybody else has. I mean, we, we lost a couple babies already. Marijuana. Seemed like an easy choice, and so far it's, she's here, the baby's here. Like, I mean, just normal. I don't know, it just looks normal to me and to everybody else. You can see a little nose. <laughs> With 10 weeks till her delivery date and fearing repercussions from Child Protective Services, Kim has decided to quit pot and face her crippling nausea without medication. As a woman of color on public health care, Kim would seem a prime target for CPS action if they found out she's been smoking pot. I'm catching up with her the week of her due date to see if she's been able to manage the symptoms of her HG without the help of cannabis. Hey, Chris. Hey, guys. Hey. How's it going? No, please. Pretty good, man. <laughs> How are you? Good. Pretty good, man. How are you? So, like, last time I saw you, you were going to quit smoking pot because you didn't want to test positive on the day of your birth. Right. Were you able to? No, I quit smoking and then I started throwing up blood again. When I tell the doctors and nurses, they're like, are you sure you didn't need something red or marinara? Or I'm like, no. What was it like in the doctor's office? The last one, they had to test me and I went down to the lab and then I had to go give a sample. I had the first positive test and I told so you, them- So wait, like, you tested positive for using marijuana? Yeah, even if I had quit by the time they tested me, it still would have been there. It was kind of like humiliating. He treated me like I was a junkie or something. He said, oh, wow, you're really hooked to that stuff, aren't you? Every time I go there, I feel judged. It's hard. It just messed up the whole relationship with the doctor. What does that mean for the day that you're going to deliver? If I test positive or if the baby does, then CPS is going to talk to us. Like, worst case is that they take my kids. I'm real scared about, like, what's going to happen at the hospital. I'm not worried about actually giving birth. I'm worried about afterwards. Ah. Look at all this hair. You see that? I know. Her hair is so cute. What's her name going to be? Solimar. Solimar? Solimar. That's son of Solim C. <laughs> Solimar. 
Hey, hey man. how's it Good going? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi. You want to hold her? Yeah. Hi, sweet one. Oh, oh. Hi. <laughs> We've been expecting you. She was born healthy, big, no problems. What, what was her birth weight? Six pounds, 13. 13 ounces, and she gained an ounce a day. Oh. Okay, let's give her back to mom, I think. All right. You got her? Yeah. I think we're going to give her a bath now if you want to help us out. Yeah, of course. Here. Right. You want to take her for me? Let me extend it. Okay. Here we go. You expected CPS to be there? Were they there? Yeah, they tested my blood when I got there. They tested her first poop, the meconium, and everything came back positive for THC, both of us. And I had like the worst possible outcomes in my head, but none of that happened. This CPS lady came. She said she didn't think anyone, anything was gonna come of it. The next day I got a phone call to set up a home visit and um, everything was good. She interviewed us and she said, we seem like we're doing great, and there's no reason to be worried about the baby. That's great. Um, maybe if we had a different home or we lived a different way, maybe we wouldn't have been so lucky. I cried out of relief after she left, because I was everything I was worried about the whole time. We stood up for ourselves and our rights and our kids' rights, you know. I'm proud of that.